Greetings and welcome back to the Fallen Eagle CK3 series where we are actually going to start. Last episode I went through basically every bookmark and just to see uh, a major decision that would make a pretty good campaign goal. We had a couple and uh, after thinking some I think I have a pretty good idea of what we want to do. So we're going to go to here to the 476. Doesn't really matter which of these bookmarks they're all the same uh, date. But we're going to create our own character. And we're going to head over here. So I figure one of the best things that we could do is basically reform the Western Roman Empire, right? I kind of want to save uh, anything to do with the Byzantines for that new expansion that should be out maybe this year. Where they're going to add a lot of things, which I'm sure will make uh, playing as them pretty cool. But at the moment, I think playing as the Visig not the Visigoths, but basically this area is the best bet. Now, I still wanted to play some Roman-style playthrough, so don't worry. We'll still be getting that. But, as it stands out, we have a couple options here. We're not going to play as the Visigoths at the moment. Well, but I figure we can start down here and build our way up, you know? So, we have uh, the Count of Valentia. He's got three counties here. Dianium. So it looks like a lot of these people are going to have a, they're going to hold everything. So this could give us a leg up. We are right next to the Visigoths, which could be helpful. Hispalis, Cord Corduba. So I'm trying to figure out which one would be the best for us to start off and not be too overpowered. I am thinking... Maybe Valentia, so then we can head down here and then make basically just make our way all over and conquer almost everything. I could start over here too, but I figure the more closer to Rome, the easier it is. So, I mean, Carthago Nova would probably be the best one to actually. Mm hmm. No, actually, we're gonna start as a. Uh... Actually, you know what? We'll just take a quick look. See which how uh, strong everyone is before we create our own character. Yeah, everyone's roughly the same, so it should be fine. Yeah, these guys are pretty small. We can claim a people as a uh, tribute, so that's neat. Alright, so I just wanted to double check on that. And if that's the case... Yeah, I'm thinking either Valentia or Cartho Carthago Nova, just because that is a uh, pretty significant. Hmm. You know what? Let's let's do that. Let's start with uh, Carthago Nova. Please, any created character? I know I should have decided exactly where we'll start, but. This is fine, right? Actually, perfect. This has been stuck in my head since uh, Rome Total War. It was my favorite unit, the Arcani. I think that means, like, the secret ones. And we are secret descendants of uh, pure Roman lineage. Alright, so we have that. So we need a good name here. Maximus, nah. We're gonna take... Caesar's first name as our own. Well, Caesar's last name as our first name. There we go. And do we want to change Carthago Nova? No, I think we'll be good with that. Uh, education. Normally, I would, I would normally go for like mastermind philosopher. Could go for war now. But you know what? We're going to start off as an intricate web weaver. We've had to keep our own secret, but now we're good. And I know I always pick like the same ones for our first characters, but it fits so well with what we normally do. Ooh, maybe I should change to a different... No, we'll change it later on. Being zealous would be pretty good, but if the Vandals decide to just straight up invade. Nah, you know what? Screw it. We'll do that. I'll change uh, the religion real quick. Uh, 
ambitious, zealous. Let's straight up be... Uh, what would be a good one? Diligent? Temperate? I'm not entirely sure what would be a good one. Uh, you know what? Let's be eccentric. Why not? Alright, so we have all that. Do we want any of these kind of traits? I suppose... You know what? Nah. I normally... You know, I normally start with, like, genius, but let's start with different this time. Actually, we're going to have pure-blooded, because we're a pure-blooded Roman. And we're going to be a uh, fecund. That can be our congenital trait. And I think that would be good. Caesar bloodline, Cleopatra bloodline, Nobilis Romanus. Yeah, I think we're good on traits. So let's straight up be like average. Slightly a better intrigue. We'll just be straight up average. You know what? We just want to... Uh, should I get rid of eccentric for lustful? No, because if we did lustful, we would probably do a bunch of uh, bastards. We need pure blood. Being eccentric could be pretty interesting. So yeah. We'll do that. And then let's go back to Christianity here. Go back to Greco-Roman. I don't know which one of these would be good. A Hellenic pagan sex, greatly influenced by Jewish ideas. They focus their worship solely on Hypsistos, the Most High. Soul Invictus. You know what? I think uh, Soul Invictus might be a pretty good one. Adaptive. This will tear. Alright, Pursuit of Power, what is this one? That actually might be good. Cultus Deorum Romana. Deorum Romanorum. Esotericism. As much as I would think uh, Soul Invictus, you think we could. Uh, Reforge this for a uh, pursuit of power. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure which one would be good for us, you know? Nah, you know what? Soul Invictus, just because we have the sun. The secrets in the sun, there we go. So we have all that education. Let's uh, change our appearance real quick. Northern, no, no, no. We want to be straight up. Uh... Oh, that doesn't actually really matter, I suppose. Have a little bit of a tanner skin because we do live uh, down here. Hairstyle. Saintly head of hair. Ah! <laughs> Subject braids, ponytail, bondies cut. No, we are straight up all in with the Roman. The Roman fade. There we go. And a beard. No beard. Feels like I he's just got like so much like, you know, scruff, you know? Uh Yeah. And, yeah, let's go back to hairstyle, hair color. Let's go super blonde. Just because it's the sun motif. Alright, yeah, that seems... No, 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 where's the eyes? Golden eyes as well. 
go all in on the sun. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good. Let's finalize that. Soul, Roman, uh, game rules. Any anything with the game rules, specifically for the fallen eagle. Fewer will occur. Recommended for experience. You play with the challenge of keeping your imperial competence stable after the year 430. So that doesn't really matter for us. Uh, we'll leave it enabled, I suppose. If two competence bars fall, you know what? Fine. Frequent migrations, historical migrations, imperial internal wars, historical. Yeah, we'll leave that. We'll leave the historical one. LARP decisions will be available. Yeah. Punic and Gallic will not be available at the start of the game. Fictional restoration decisions, dead cultures and faith. Hmm. At the start of the game, which means it can come back through the game. So I guess we'll leave it like that. Yeah. Counts Caesar of Carthago Nova. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good. First things first, before we do anything, open the barbershop. And ba 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 ba. Cloak headwear. No headwear. And clothes. Emperor's tunic, no. Where is Roman clothes? That's what we want. We're a Roman weeb. What's the what's the word for that? There's got to be, you know, there's a Westaboo I know, but specifically for a uh, Roman. Arabic. Holy Roman. Uh, there we go. Imperial Roman armor. Common Roman. Uh, we're not good enough to be a senator, so we'll be a, uh, yeah, we'll just wear that. All right, good. What? Discard our changes. No, cancel. Is that, I thought I did it. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really change much of it with clothes. Well, can't save changes. I guess uh, the barbershop uh, mod might be out of date or something. I don't know. It won't let me just save it. Anyway, so let's take a look at ourselves. We are the Count of Carthago Nova. We have three counties here, which are pretty good counties. We have uh, some lifestyles here. And I have the lifestyle mods for the Roman lifestyles. So we're going to take a look at those. But first things first. Actually, no, we'll take a look at these. So we have three here. We can focus on Roman way of life. Obviously, these might uh, be a little uh, overpowered, but as it were, but who knows, right? Uh, diplomacy. It's the first time I'm using this mod, but I figure it fits with our Roman aesthetic. Numerous military skills. I think, obviously, we would focus on the way of life, you know? And then as we have this, we can do... Uh, Fabricate hooks. We have a uh, fertility, and what would be a good one for us? We're not going to be much seducing because we want to have pure-blooded children, as pure of blood as we can get. Uh, finding secrets, and then as we focus down here, I don't know which one we'll do here. These just give uh, straight up points. <laughs> Nobilis, huh? And the prefectus. Imperialist Aula. We also should go down here just so we can get August. 
But there we go. There's our character. Do we have any other options here? No legend seeds. Uh, activities. Gladiatorial contests. That's good that we have that because that was a major point. I wish we had chariots, but maybe as we get closer we can introduce chariots or something. We have trade. Royal court. Decisions. Council. Courtiers. We don't have the Senate. Mostly because, you know, we're not an empire or anything like that. Give us an idea for a motto name here. Because I'd be interested for some ideas there. Alright, what else do we got? SPQR. Yep. Inventory. Aspiring ruler. We're viewed as illegitimate. Fair enough. Maybe I should have given ourselves, you know, like legitimized bastard trait so basically we want to go try to reunite to get the western roman empire that's a big big ask and as we move forward north i think we'd be able to get like the holy roman empire i don't know if we'll go that far but who knows uh first close this so i'm not entirely sure what trade really does that's something for us to learn more do we have anything would this i'm assuming be a uh, Based off of side things here. Commission monuments. Oh. Inspect trade node. Okay. Local trade power. Oh, okay. Grant to commission a monument. Yeah, I forgot about that. This is our capital. I don't know if it'll be our main capital forever. Because, you know, we got to move for further along. But... Who knows? In the meantime, uh, faiths, no. Uh, economy, what's a good one? Oh, wow. Grand Temple, oh man, I was really hoping it'd be a unique one. Alhambra Fortress Ruins, ooh, that could be a pretty good one. How good is uh, the county? Not the greatest, but. Grand Mosque, the Rocks of Gibraltar. But, hey, gives a defense, university. I'll butcher that if I try to say it. City Walls of Toledo. Uh, this place. Caesar Augusta, huh? Hmm. I think everyone has like three or two. I don't know if there's many with like say four. Tower of Hercules. Oh. Interesting. Roman Lighthouse. Yeah, fair enough. As we move forward, yeah, there's not much. It's just a bunch of grand cathedrals. There's going to be some that are more unique, but other than that... See, now I'm actually kind of debating if we should have gone here, or should have we been, like, in Rome. Not in Rome, but, uh, in Britain. Just because the idea of, uh, well, they let Brit the British, you know, Isles fall, so who knows? Oh, well, we made our choice, right? So I rechanged it here. The struggle for Britannia. I figure this actually makes a better story. We are the last of a line of a pure-blooded Britons left over from the Roman province of Britannia ever since the usurper Magnus Maximus launched his bid for power. If you guys want to read all of this, I can scroll it down. Or maybe not. Hmm. But yeah, so, you're one of the interloper participants in the struggle for Britannia. Take hold of fate. Yeah, I think this actually makes a lot more sense. So, I know the first half of this episode was basically uh, the character creation. And not much is going to happen in this one either. But this is episode one. So, the only difference is... We are slightly better because we have 12 and everything because I decided to give us just fecund, pure-blooded, and shrewd. I figured that's how we uh, took hold of the Isle of Wight. So this is all we got right now. We're not the same culture. We're not the same faith. We are every the same as everything. Soul, Roman, Arcani, same sigil. Give, us a, give me an idea for a motto. And other than that, I figure we can start as the Isle of Wight because it's a nice little callback to our old uh, Harry Potter series, if anyone remembers that. And 
we could potentially take over. And we have the blah 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 decisions. Still, they'll reunite the Western Roman Empire, embrace Roman bureaucratic practices, adopt city-state government, and I'm pretty sure more will appear as soon as we become like ducal level, you know? So let's uh, head back over here, focus on Romans. And uh, truth is relative. Uh, give us some fertility. And dark insights, unshackle lust, swift execution. Let's do a disrupt schemes because we are in the quite alone in the world. So I know we're all for our pure bloodedness, but unfortunately, might be slim pickings. But we are the buildup, as it were, to uh, our great dynasty. So we, like I said, we're all the same here. I'm, I'm not sure really for the intricate web weaver. Maybe I should have gone for the steward one, but eh. I figure we can just say we uh, schemed our way into taking over at white. I did actually do a little bit of uh, research, and by that I mean I did a quick Wikipedia look that uh, there was no like fortresses or anything built on white. There was a couple manors that indicated some good agricultural stuff happening around here, so I figure that's a good way. There was no real system of government, right? Easy enough for us to take over. And we don't have the stupid hat. <laughs> Alright, the hat's not stupid, but... It blocked our glorious Roman fade sun color. So we want to become the sun king, the sun emperor. We're all for about the sun. And I figure, you know... I mean, yeah, to be fair, Japan is the land of the rising sun, but the sun never set on the British Empire. So let's see if we can uh, recreate that, right? <laughs> Alright, so other than that, we have uh, 68 gold. Decisions. Uh, activity. We still have gladiatorial contests, so that's always good. And like I said, maybe one day we can get some chariot racing going. Council, military. Other than all of this going. So I'm just curious. I think I took a look, but... Yeah, mining settlement over here. That'd be pretty good for getting some quick cash, but unfortunately... Not the best for us. Alright, well let's set our council up real quick. Who do we got? Marius, who sucks. It's gonna take 34 years, but I'm so a whole a whole new generation before it's us. But maybe we can get a good, uh, better uh, flamen, Chancellor Egbert. He doesn't like us at all, but you know, the Roman hubris, nice. Aethelric, Bergfled, Edbald. Uh, our steward. Do we have a better steward option? Uh, is nine any different than se than seven? Really? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know what you guys think on that front. Anyway, and also the legacy of Arthur Pendragon, the once and future king, lives through the blood of this dynasty. And if you go by actual historical evidence Arthur Pendragon might have been a Roman named Artorius if we want to go with that you know story which could cement our legacy as being legitimate we are descendant of Artorius the brave Roman commander so yeah forget all about being down there in the nice warm Sun and Mediterranean climate and Close to the homeland. Nah. We're settling for... Rain and... Swamp. Not swamp, but marshlands and... <laughs> lots of rain. The, the, the British weather. Nah, I know. That's me joking. Anyway. So, with that out of the way... Train commanders. Yeah, no organized army. Uh... No, not find secrets. Disrupt, because we're going to need that. Collecting taxes. 
As much as I want to be collecting taxes, how much would we be losing if we promoted culture? It only takes four years and we're not losing... Wow. That's a quick one. Alright, well there we go. We have our tenants of Sol Invictus. Unfortunately, we do not have our... Uh... Oh, cool. Soul is not an option? Please. Yeah, holy sites. Unfortunately, we can't uh, reform because it's all the way down there. Oh, we could we reform it? Oh yeah, we just need a lot of uh, piety, which we could go down at some point, or maybe a future character can to give us a pursuit of power. That would help us down. But yeah, anyway, with that said, how long have we been going? I know this was just the introduction. Do we have an actual Cassus Belli? Oh, we do. Oh, never mind then. Unfortunately, we are solely outmatched. So we need to build up. We have no champions. We have like no soldiers. This dude can come in and mollywop us. So let's hope he doesn't do that. I might have accidentally chosen a really harsh uh, beginning, but who knows, right? So with that said, I think we're going to end it there. I know a little short and everything, but this is this is just a taste, you know? The sun rises. That actually might be the title. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave any comments and suggestions down below. I would really welcome them, especially help right now since we are in a precarious situation and also advice on the trade stuff I'm still really confused on the trade but who knows right anyway I hope you all enjoyed leave any I already said all that leave a like if you like leave a dislike if you dislike but tell me why and I shall see you all later